All right, Fishaholics, welcome back. And before we jump into today's video, I just wanted to formally announce the winner of the Tsunami Trophy 2 surf fishing rod that I was giving away in my last video. I just did a random YouTube comment picker and the winner is, drum roll please, is John Claudio. So thanks to everyone that entered. Congratulations, John. I will uh, reach out to you or you can reach out to me at fisherholictv at gmail.com and send me an email with your address and I'll mail that rod out to you. And unfortunately, I was actually giving away a second rod in that video. If you guys looked through the comment section, I pinned a comment that I had an extra surf rod to give away, which is was the nine foot six uh, Tsunami Airwave Elite. And if the video got 3000 likes within that week time period that uh, I was giving away or gonna pick a comment and give away the other rod, I would have picked the second winner to win that surf rod. But unfortunately, we did not hit 3000 likes. We were a little bit short. We, uh, I think we're around like 2100 or something so uh with that being said if this video gets 3,000 likes or more within the week that it is has been uploaded i will give away that surf rod so just smash that like button comment below to enter and uh who knows maybe you'll get lucky and win but um anyway i will jump into the video now and also give you a quick little teaser for the new fishaholic hats and fishaholic fish to live brand to build hats that just came in so check them out i hope you guys like them and if you want to purchase one to help support the channel just check out the links down in the description so now enough talking let's get into the video all right fishaholics welcome back to another episode just got down here on the beach in mike's raptor aka montauk outfitter fully loaded we got the paddleboard we got some rod spikes and we got some surf rods and uh we're gonna try to do something different or well mike is just gonna do regular surf casting i'm gonna try and catch some toothy critters so i've got uh, some fresh mackerel bait here that I caught the other day. That's looking pretty good. Kept them alive for like two days because we went offshore fishing and I was going to use them as a live bait and we rolled up on a, like a massive shark and I thought like oh this would be perfect threw them out there. Got closer and it ended up being just a basking shark so that didn't really work out so the mackerel died and uh, now we're going to try and uh, catch something nice off the beach here. It's about five o'clock. Don't have a whole lot of daylight left but that should be perfect so possibly there'll be something nice right out there lingering, looking for a big bite. All right, rod spike in the sand. Hope you guys can hear me all right. It's pretty windy out here, but we've got the VS250, nine foot uh, Mojo Surf. And uh, now we're gonna grab a shark rig and uh, start cutting that bait up and then hop on the paddleboard and get on out there. We are out. It's a little windy out here. Probably gonna make it a little difficult to get that bait way out there. And there's quite a bit of outgoing current right now, but we're gonna try our best. <clears throat> All right, I think this should be good. All right, hopefully that is good enough. All right, well we're set and now it's time just to chill, have some sweet tea and uh, see if we get a bite. And believe it or not, when I was coming back in with the paddleboard, I was looking at the rod and I saw it double over twice. Mike helped me set it and then he went back to his truck and I guess while his back was turned, the rod doubled over twice. I don't know what it was. Could have been a shark already. I mean, if there's enough out there, say if I just got lucky and put it in front of one. Um, so I'm hoping my bait is still there. If it was possibly just a bluefish, you know, we use that, that hard uh, head piece of that mackerel. So I would highly doubt that the blues would be able to chop the entire thing on. So we'll probably give it like 30, 40 minutes, see if this rod uh, shows any action. And if not, then we might reel it up, rebate, and uh, get it back out there. But yeah, this is a uh, boring part of shark fishing. You know, hours of boredom sometimes, and just a moment of excitement. That's all we need. <laughs> 
Oh man, are you serious? Ah, oh, seagull just flew right into the line. Beautiful. All right, he flew out of it. Just gonna tighten this up again. And I'm gonna actually pick up my light inshore rod here that I brought from around the fishaholic pin back and uh, wait for hopefully a good bite. We'll give it like 30, 40 minutes. If nothing, then we'll reel it up and check the bait. Hopefully in the meantime, we can maybe get some schooly stripers. There's a fish right there. Dang, son. This guy nailed it. What do we got? A little schooly bass. Exactly what I was hoping for. Here we go. Fishaholic fin bag shad never fails. What's up, little baby? Real light colored because he's probably just swimming right along the lip, right where it's sandy. And if you get a little bit further out, it gets rocky, and then further out, it gets sandy again. So this little setup that I'm using is just the 3000 Tsunami Evict, the 7.6 Carbon Shield 2, and I believe I've got 15 pound Power Pro Slick on here and a 30 pound fluorocarbon leader tied direct, just a three quarter ounce SNS Fishaholic Jig Head and the Amber Over White and Silver Flake Fishaholic Shad. <sighs> Perfect little bait for uh, throwing, you know, with light tackle equipment like this. Or you could also throw on a bigger jig head tape if you wanted to throw it on more of like a surf fishing outfit. Hmm, all right, still got my bait. A little weeded up though. And we definitely had maybe a couple bites or could have just been some crabs picking at the back end of this bait. But well, we're gonna scrap this one. All right, I'm gonna try putting out another bloody chunk. Let's see if this, yeah, hopefully this one will get a big bite. All right, I just went out there and dropped the bait. And we are looking good to go, all set. We'll probably leave this bait out there until uh, we lose the filmable daylight, which probably will be in about like 45 minutes or so. And in the meantime, I guess we'll go back to throwing the shad around and hope that doubles over. Right there in front of us. Woo! Oh, he came off. This one feels pretty decent actually. Or he's just got some attitude. Oh yeah. 
pretty decent and really fun on the light tackle gear. Look at that beautiful striper. Sweet bycatch for today, <laughs> always. And there's like this little sandy point here. You really can't see it, but there's like a little indent there. It comes out to a little point right here and the current's washing around this sandy point. That's where these fish are hanging out. If we don't get a shark this evening, at least we got some stripers. Have to go after the sharks maybe another day. Oh, just saw a fish plus water right there. There he is. And I probably got him too. <laughs> that exact fish. Got a good hard hit. Looks like something's playing with it. Probably not a shark though. If it was, this rod would just stay bent and this line would be ripping off the reel. Probably just a blue fish playing around. All right, well, unfortunately, we're losing the film with daylight and uh, I think we're gonna start packing it in. I just reeled up our second bait and uh, we did have a few bites and this is what it was right here this scrappy little blue fish and look at that circle hook right in the corner of the mouth it did its job and uh, i think we're gonna have to make this guy bait uh tomorrow when we get back out here or maybe go to another spot but uh some of you guys might be wondering like why not you know cut them up now and get them out there but uh we're really trying to capture like the best experience out here and film it and all capture everything on footage and filming at night you know, especially with GoPro cameras, the quality of the footage really doesn't turn out that well. So we're really trying to catch some of these fish uh, during like daylight hours. So I'm gonna just pack it up and uh, I guess we'll pick things back up tomorrow. All right, Fishaholics. Well, unfortunately I could not catch a shark from the surf this week. And I was really adamant about it because this week was actually Shark Week on uh, Discovery Channel. And I thought it would just been really cool to get out there and catch our own shark from the surf and capture it all on film. And uh, I thought it would just been a cool thing for you guys to watch. Uh, and um, yeah, I mean, we gave it our all. It, it was kind of challenging to get out there and really put the time in because I was fishing on the charter boat for work like 10 hours a day and uh, then only getting out maybe a couple other times for like a couple hours before dark. And uh, the one time we got out, we waited up to like our neck, launched a chunk of that bluefish out there and um, didn't really have any crazy bites. I think just like small like bluefish or mackerel chopping at it. And then we went another time, I think Friday or Thursday, and we tried the kayak to kayak our baits way out there. And uh, the current on the outgoing was just way too strong. It was like, I was using like seven, eight ounces and, it, and that a big chunk of bluefish and the current was just ripping it along the bottom and we were getting weeded up really badly. So unfortunately, uh, we just didn't have any bites, but um, just cause we didn't hook up doesn't mean I still won't try. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like this video, comment below to have a chance to win the surf rod, pick up a fisherholic hat to help support the channel, and like always, live to fish, fish to live.